Hey everyone, my name is Caleb with Lander Chevrolet of Norman, Oklahoma. And here in front of me we have the all new 2021 Chevrolet Suburban High Country. This beautiful example is finished off in cherry red tint coat. And up at the front we're going to have that all new fascia for the Suburban. The Tahoe will also have this uh, pretty much exact same front end. And then right here we do have the LED headlamps with LED accented running lights and the High Country badging. We've also got the camera for the surround view monitor right here. And then high country embossed in the grill. And then over here we do have the 22 inch uh, polished aluminum wheels with chrome inserts. And then we've got high country badging up top with Suburban and then the power running boards that deploy as you open the doors. And then we also have the surround view monitor camera underneath the mirror. And here's another look at this gorgeous and absolutely massive SUV. If you've got people to carry or stuff to haul around, this is the SUV to do it for you. And then in the back, we also have the all new rear end for the Suburban. We've got Suburban written up here with the new tail lights. Inside the tail lights, it does say Chevrolet on this side. And then on this side, we do have the bow tie. This particular one does have the 6.2 liter V8, and then it does have quad exhaust tips. There are several ways to get into the rear cargo area of the Suburban. You can go ahead and just walk up to it and grab the handle underneath and the power lift gate will open up. We've also got the power lift gate control here, but we've also got the power window. So you can press this right there and it will just open up the glass if you need to just throw something in real quick, you can just throw it in and then shut this and it locks, super easy. And then you can come here and touch the membrane behind the handle and the power lift gate will open up. Back here, we have a massive amount of storage space and the load floor is lower, if you'll notice because of the new independent rear suspension architecture on the Suburban. We've also got a massive amount of underfloor storage here and further back. And then the third row of seats is power folding. And so you can see those fold down and there you just get an absolutely massive amount of space. You can also fold down the second row of seats by double pressing this button right here and it will fold flat. You do have to manually lift those back up, but you can press this button right here and the third row does automatically come back up and secure. It's a really great feature to have on the Suburban and you just have an absolutely massive amount of room back here. Pressing this does close the tailgate. And coming along to the side, we can take a look at the window sticker. Feel free to pause at any point that you'd like some more information on the really nice list of options on this particular Suburban. And here is one more look at this amazingly redesigned SUV. Getting inside the Suburban is super easy thanks to Chevrolet's smart key access. You can also remote start the vehicle by making sure it's locked and pressing the remote start button twice. Simple as that. And to turn it off, you can just hold. And then to get inside of the Suburban, as long as you have the key fob on you, you can just walk up and push the button and it will unlock. And as you pull the handle, the power running boards do deploy to greet you. And we have this awesome two-tone jet black and mocha leather interior on the high country trim. We've got wood everywhere with some nice matte accenting and white stitching. And then on this side, we've got two person memory with driver easy entry and exit. Of course, with power mirrors, power locks, and power windows with a power folding mirror option. And then we've got a full power driver's seat along with a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel with audio controls behind the steering wheel. And then a myriad of controls over here. So we've got our four wheel drive control with drive mode selector, the automatic headlamp control with panel dim, trailer brake controller, heads up display controller, and lots of safety features. Right here, we've got lane departure warning, parking sensors, traction control, hill descent control, 
the automatic start stop system along with the power port in the rear with an electronic parking brake. And so stepping inside, all you gotta do is put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. There's an incredible amount of tech on the 2021 Suburban High Country. There is a LCD display in between the two gauges, full color that is controlled by this roller wheel and the two arrows on either side. This is the main home screen with the temperature and clock in the top with the speed and speed limit sign in the middle with our range in the bottom, compass, odometer, and gear selector position. Going over to the right shows our information with digital speed, trip one and two, fuel range, oil life, tire pressures, air filter life, brake pad life, timer, following distance to the vehicle in front, driver assistance, engine hours, transmission fluid temp, our telemetry with a blank page for easier driving at night. Going over to the right again shows our audio, then navigation, then our telephone for Bluetooth and our options. And then up at the top that stays the same, we've got our auxiliary gauges, with the speed limit sign in the top right, the follow or the lane departure warning in the middle, and the current four-wheel drive controller on the top right. Over here we have automatic wipers with rear wiper, and then cruise control right here with pre-collision and heated steering wheel controls and Bluetooth and voice commands over here. We've also got a full color heads-up display. It normally doesn't flicker, it just does that in the camera, but you can control the position and the brightness and what is housed on it. So we've got our speed and our speed limit. Down below that, we've also included our lane departure warning and driver assistance in this screen. Then we've got our compass or navigation, and then our telemetry that you've seen before, and back to the original screen. Over here, we've got the all new gear selector for the 10 speed automatic transmission. Pressing it goes into reverse, pulling up, or sorry, pressing that goes into park. When we pull up, we go into reverse to reveal the really large view camera. We've also got several views that you can choose from with the safety seat so you can see that it is flashing on the curb and it will show right here and vibrate the seat. You can pick several views um, that aid in towing, just like that, or magnifying on your hitch. We've also got side view cameras as well if you prefer that view for the curbs and an enhanced rear or front camera. And then here's the standard camera for the rear and that will be for the front. Pressing down goes into neutral and pulling up goes into drive which automatically activates your front camera which has dynamic guidance lines as you turn the wheel. Going into park, we have the really large new screen up in the middle. Going home shows that we do have radio, phone, and navigation. In our radio screen, we've got several sources, including AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, and Bluetooth streaming audio. We also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with HD radio, and this all goes through a Bose sound system. And then we do have our presets up at the top, and then shortcut keys to go to Bluetooth, navigation, and climate. Going into our navigation screen, this is the latest and greatest with a full color map and traffic added. And going back home and swiping over, again, we've got phone along with navigation and Wi-Fi hotspot, different users as well as settings with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with some trailering controls, different applications, OnStar services, rear media, climate, camera, my Chevrolet, and Sirius XM satellite radio. Going into our rear media screen, um, we'll touch on this in a little bit when we get to the back seat, but this really is a really cool system. Going down below that, two nice air vents with a little bit of extra storage over here with our hazard button. And then down below that, just a few more redundant audio controls. Uh, this one does have tri-zone automatic climate control, two for the front and one for the rear, all automatic of course. Heated seats for the three-stage driver and passenger with the back and butt or just the back. And then we also have our air-conditioned seat or ventilated as well. USB and USB-C with a 12 volt power outlet and a wireless phone charger. Two cup holders and then a really nice padded and stitched center armrest. And opening this up does reveal a ton of storage. We've got some Chevy accessories right here and then the two tiered option with the another USB-C and USB with the SD card for the map. And then up at the top, we've got this really nice 
um, rear view mirror camera options. So if you've got people's heads all the way to the third row or cargo stacked up and you can't really see to the back of the Suburban, you can press this and it just shows a camera view of everything that's happening behind you in a live feed. And then we've got our OnStar controls and then our power sunroof. We can also fold down the third row of seats right from here. So if we press and hold on this button, it will fold that third row of seats flat and you can press it the other way and it will open up, or sorry, lift up that seat. So it's a nice feature to have. Three stages for the garage door homelink buttons with the um, dome, dome light power off and then our power lift gate. And then this is the massive power panoramic sunroof. The power shade opens up all the way with one touch. And you can see it goes all the way back to produce a ton of light into the cabin. And you can also open this up and tilt it and slide with just the push of one button. You can see it goes all the way back and lets a lot of air into the cabin. And it does have a really nice opening so you do get a lot of that fresh air. Coming to the back of the new Suburban, when you open the door, the power retractable running board does greet you and you do have the high country uh, kick plate right here. Super easy to get into the third row. You just pull on this lever twice, once to fold the seat flat and once to fold the seat up. And you do have access to the third row of seats and there's a lot of nice features back there, including vents, some USB power ports and cup holders. And then putting this seat back down, the third row passengers also are able to open it up using this strap. Lifting this up and getting inside. This is in the furthest forward setting and there's plenty of room, but you can also lift up on this lever right here and you can scoot the seat back. Back here, we've got these really nice um, display monitors that are a um, really welcomed addition to the new Suburban. We've got heated seats on either side with the automatic climate controls back here. We've also got USB-C, two HDMIs and another USB-C with a household power plug two cup holders and then we've also got some storage in the door as well as the Bose sound system two seat back map pockets and we'll go ahead and dive into these two rear screens the back of these screens are really impressive you can adjust them going up and down just like this and then we've also got watch listen and navigate settings and so going to watch we can view something from the USB-C either HDMI port or Miracast which allows you to just cast something from your smart equipped device we've also got listen so we can listen to music back here with either USBs or HDMI ports we can also turn the screen off or set up our Bluetooth headphones right here and then we can also see where we are going with the navigate feature so those kids won't be asking when you arrive. Um, choosing this button right here shows traffic and our map preferences. And then you can also type in an address right here or anywhere that you would like to go. Um, so let's say we wanted to see some food options. Uh, it's all of the food. And it will load up. And so we can send that to the front seat to allow the driver to navigate right there. And then going back home and looking at our settings, we do have all of these settings right here. And of course we can turn the whole screen off. That's gonna complete our full tour and walk around of the all new 2021 Chevy Suburban High Country. Again, this one was in the cherry red tint coat. If you have any questions about the all new Tahoe or Suburban platform, feel free to contact us here at Landers Chevrolet. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.